Uh, hello guys, uh, my name is Gerald Msara. Uh, I'm a small scale pig producer. Tishingo za mazamatiri kwa sehe kia msimbabuwa. So, today we want to talk about uh, something uh, that is very interesting. Uh, if you check our YouTube channel, there are a few playlists there. Uh, so, in today's playlist, uh, I'm going to talk to those who are already in production. So, mkazoe nda pa playlist la kanze, whom uh, am I talking to? Mchari wana playlist iroro, etengerichi address ama needs and requirements of different individuals at different scales of production. So, what you are going to do today, we are going to speak to those who are already uh, in Pigare, who are both uh, achieving their targets and also those who are failing in achieving their targets. So it's going to be a very short video. So what are we talking about today? Today I want to introduce you to what we call the 10th rule uh, in pig farming. So I wrote a few notes here just to guide me uh, on what to talk about and some basic uh, principles and explanations. Uh, for those who want uh, the copy of this presentation, uh, you can hit my inbox or Varuma Group Sukodara. I'm going to share this presentation with you so that it can benefit you. Then you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Pogzim. It's P O R C Zim. Then download this video, share it uh, with your family and friends. I think there is something useful in it. So, what is the tenth rule in Pigare? The tenth rule, according to me, this is me who designed this tenth rule. I believe I'm an authority, both by qualification and by experience. So yeah, and it. But from experience, I discovered that there is something that I should call the tenth rule in pig farming. And what does it say? It says each, each sow must be represented by 10 offsprings in the pens all the time. In Shona Trukut, Nguruwe Yoga Yoga ino bereka, ino fana kunge ine vana, vanununge zirwa kwa yiri, 10 and above, pangua yega yega. And it, so, in simple terms, Trukuti wawo ne nguruwe yako wani. A saura ko one. As you never saw to end up market here. Can I put the words buried and name wins here? Mumatanga Munufana Kugara, Moon and Guru were ten. Vana, Vano identify one and Guru were yo. Girogged in total, Unegone eleven. Ten the offsprings, including the mother, to make it a total of eleven. How and why? Let me explain the concept to you. And how does it work in terms of uh, profitability, scaling, and also in terms of uh, efficiency, right? A sow gives birth to two and a half, uh, two and a half times per year. The basic principle says uh, three months, three weeks, three days, three hours, etc. From the moment of conception. So... Generally, it's four months of pregnancy. Then we also need to understand that the sow then gives a birth uh, after those are uh, three weeks, three months, three weeks, three days, three hours, whatever. Then it nurses its piglets for at least six weeks. Why do we win after six weeks? It reduces uh, post-winning mortality chances of a higher post-winning mortality are so low uh, in that regard. Then, once the sow is wind, it takes three to seven days to come back on it again. So what it means is, an effective and productive system controls the heat or mating to support production. 
So, what am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say, in your every one year calendar year, your sow must give birth at least twice, then ends the year with a two months or one month pregnancy. That is an effective system. That is production at its most. So, the tower is something about um, effective production system, uh, controlling mating, and also um, uh, how we can support uh, production. Number one, we inject farosua two weeks before, uh, before winning. Then number two, we do what we call flash feed in the first seven days post winning. Then number three, there is a teaser board to induce it that is introduced to the to the sows uh, three to seven days after winning. Then when everything is failed, the natural way, then we inject estromate to induce artificial heat. So what it means is if you add together the first uh, batch of seven days, then the second one, then the third one, we have a complete one month of uh, the sow not being in productive stages. Then we add the four months uh, the pregnancy is here. Yes, to what to eight months. Then we add another month, turning nine months of effective production, one month of unproductive. Uh, then to what so two months, the good to carry over uh, to the next year. So and by principle or by law pano buda bechi iro oro rekutanga iro richinzira kuendeswa ku market senguru dzenyama inofana kunge ichirumura the very same week iro what does it mean it means kuti nguru yedu isusu inogara in a representation mumatanga that was that's what i call the 10th rule uh, principle i think ipapo pajeka so now if a sow takes more than seven days to get back on it after winning, it disturbs the whole calendar for the whole production year. And it then Dambota or about uh, the winning or marketing rule in Ofola within the tenth rule. In Otichi, the principle states that when a sow wins its second set of piglets, the same week or month, its first set of piglets should be ready for the market. What it means is, mimi mukawana mchito buri tava ana wenguru wachenda ku market. Mozo tora time guru wewe isina ku produce wanguana. It means pane era in the system we faro wengine that needs addressing. Zaji so, nongori wa kuandiri that is an ineffective system in order kuto gadiris. Why? Because saure doing study kuita three ma 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 pregnancies atata ora inwani inengea kuita two or one saka iwe we kana wa kuzochi ita saura kuku dunuti ita a month or so or even two months risina ku risina ku zokera pa yiti kana uti risina mimba uruku foira pa production mutemo we nguru we unota ora kuti nguru we either ine mwana mdom kara uti ruku yamuisa kana kuti nguru we yoyi yaka miram kono. Ukawona wagu gara ni nguru wa zinenge zinguru ma system matanga tatuone problem. Paru tuta zuka basa ipa. And it. So, if you abide and respect this winning uh, to market principle, it allows you to manage three things effectively. Number one, it allows you to manage feed. Ta kuta wala about the law of replacement. Because it kuti izi zichibuda za zaru wapu. Izi ziru kita se, izi ziru kuto pindao. Because in Guru and it is also in Oyamisa, one of your first six weeks. Vana only goes to consume a lot of feed, the pap. Sakapaza, Gurumu, Gavana, Wagno consume 600 to 1 kg uh, of feed per day. It means Panizak Fanakubuda, so that you can manage my feeds, the snatchy, the snatch challenges. Then it also allows you uh, to bet your pigs. Like I always say, pigari, just like a business, is a game of numbers. So, you know what Allah could be changed with the do because it's the Ruzara, Neguru Muravana, Panguaya Cassian. Then it allows you to achieve that consistency in supplying the market. You always have something to sell, and it was it good. It's the Jibuda, it's the Jipinda. Zarega Ruma Chai, she has a tone of Maburza Sema winner, and it right. I think about Ambo, it's a Kuragumo Putinida. 
let's get back uh, to the tenth rule and it tatisus a sow must be represented by at least 20 piglets in one calendar year what it means a sow must be represented all the time by 10 or more pigs per time and it then could it is a money just use a wonder wonder and untrue to our packages a sow must not be represented by two or more groups of offsprings in the pens it shows a poor growth rate uh, poor genetics and a poor marketing strategies and it Mugona mi mguru wenyu wani, yaani tu mazera matanga, arugu feed at the same time. It means something is wrong with the system. Tenth ruhu, my break. And it, tine zimwe mguru weza haku, ujika guroa, zisiru kura kuenda kufinisha, then tani zimwe za haku, ujika kufti wina o guroa miu. Mguru weyo yoyo, yoveta za mufutu. Dati mguru weyo yoyo, ya kuto kuturira hii, ende ya kuto konzera ma inefficiencies. But, kashinji kacho maloto fine inefficiencies ya, ano konzera wane, ano konzera wane, a wrong following system and it so what it means is it's either two or just a single group set of offsprings per batch quandiri that's efficient and it i think it's about jeka so now let's simplify the tenth rule and it let's assume that you've got two sows and it it means you must have 20 plus pigs every time matangako that this is tenth rule Ama yega yega ten plus vana pakawa mirira then imenguru we ten plus tani twenty vana and it plus ana ama yedu it means twenty two or more pigs pangua zega zega and it the same applies kana wone guru we three masau akwewe urufa na wongo wone thirty vana varuku mirira ana ama yeva tatu that means thirty three or more pigs every time in opens to enda even ku five it's supposed to be fifty five plus five or over fifty eight pigs. As if I below that, can I only 10 sows? Each sow represented by 10 pigs or more, then it means 100 pigs plus the 10 sows. That's 110 minimum. Then it will only 20 sow units. It's supposed to be 200 pigs plus the 20 sows all the time. And it. So you can reflect. Those rumors can I only 4 sow units? It means you must have 40 pigs plus four masauza ako. Saka, ma numbers are anotik bad siri isusu kuwona kuti the total head that you have. Does it promote sustainability? Or what kind of signals is your total stock head telling us? Ili kutirakiza efficiency ili, kauti kutirakiza inefficiency. Dozo, sa tingi taku itasi, taku tarisa izoso. So, if you are not doing this, and it, and it abopawa nungwe kuti ngati fungi sisi ya bota, sa wini ti edu kutu unengani. It means we pass our rega rega ten or plus, and this guy plus the sow zero. So when we fungi society, we want to say okay, the name of sow mangan. Mungu matanga ma kwa adifa ne kuita below that. Can I uchi abide by this tenth rule? Can I just rubuda rubuda rubuda? Can I just start to know when I take? Either you are doing this for fun, or you are keeping pigs as pets. Kuna na nuda rosha. Manu ngona kwa nungo nungo rudiri pa yad sema flowers au. And it works for them, and it. Then the second thing, you have no financial literacy whatsoever. We blink when it comes to business management. We blink when it comes to financial literacy. Because the more you are not keeping good with the passy, pay this tenth row. I was going break even. Actually, you are forcing things, and it. Then you can have one good with Zago, Zago with three groups or more. Did you did you relate to back to one sound? It means you are inefficient, you have poor growth rate. It means you have something wrong with feed or the management of pigs. Or generally, you have three. Did you have something wrong with you? Either you have paying or you have to pay. Generally, you have to pay. Because you have to pay for pig. It's about the money, it's about the numbers. And it's good. So, you have to pay for this 10th rule, which is you have to pay for this 10th rule, which is you have to pay for this 10th rule. Mune less than nguruwe, 50 chayi zoka na sekist, at each time. Ah, it means something is wrong with you, to be honest. And it, so, zunu zo, kuti zongo, chita hongo oni sana. And it, so, tichata kuzi ya kuti no, how many of us are abiding by this 10th rule? It's basic, it's simple, and it's straightforward. 
do that and you thank me later so see you guys in the next video thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video may you please uh, follow me on facebook uh, it's gerald j team sara or subscribe uh, to our youtube channel it's pogzim it's p-o-r-c-zim and it's see you next time cheers